How do you find out if you're fertile or not? My name is Dr Fleur Cattrall and I am a Melbourne IVF fertility specialist. So are you fertile? Well, if you're a woman and you have periods, at least you know that you have a normal uterus and your lining is shedding every month um, and building up again to prepare for the next ovulation and pregnancy. If you don't have periods, this could be a sign that you're not fertile, but for women with uh, polycystic ovaries, they might have very infrequent um, ovulation and still ovulate one egg a year. So you couldn't say that they're not fertile. Your past medical history may give you a clue of whether you're fertile or not. So women that have had uh, uh, sexually transmitted diseases such as chlamydia, that can damage the pathway for the sperm and the eggs to meet, the fallopian tubes. Uh, so that can affect your fertility. Women that have very painful periods could have conditions like endometriosis, which is where the lining of the inside of the uterus implants somewhere in the pelvis. And every time they have a period, that lining will will bleed and cause pain in their pelvis. Uh, if you've had a family history of endometriosis, that increases your chance of having endometriosis six times. Some women have an overgrowth of the lining of the uterus called fibroids, and that can lead to very heavy painful periods. So if you have heavy painful periods, this could be a sign of of having trouble falling pregnant, but it's more of a clue that you might have trouble with fertility, not a diagnosis. Now for men, the best way to, have, to know if they're fertile is to organise a semen analysis. But before you get to the doctor, one clue would be looking at the testicular size. So men with very small testicles, maybe the size of a blueberry, they might not be fertile, but it's not conclusive. It just is a clue. Uh, testicular size actually varies a lot, uh, but there is some correlation between testosterone production and testicular size. So men with large testicles probably have high testosterone, uh, but there is also quite a huge variation in this. The other thing that men can look out for is whether they actually have two testicles. So have they had some problem in the past, maybe as a child, such as undescended testicles? Now those men have a slightly higher chance of having a low sperm count. The other thing that men could look for is whether there's evenness, evenness in the size of the testicle. So if one is smaller than the other, well, the larger one could be an early indicator of a testicular cancer. That would commonly present as an enlarged uh, area in the testicle that might be firm, but fortunately it's quite a rare condition. So men, if you have any worries, get checked out with your family doctor or your fertility specialist. The other condition that men might notice is a bag of worms in their, their scrotum, which is uh, known as a varicocele. Um, now varicose seals are, are varicose veins of the testicle and they can leave men with a dragging painful sensation at the end of the day. All these things will give us a bit of a clue of fertility but to know whether you're fertile or not you really need to have further tests. For women the other thing to think about is whether there is any family history of going through the menopause early because this might be an indicator that you might be at risk of this as well. Irregular periods can be an indication that you're not ovulating, but some women ovulate anyway, even if they have infrequent periods. So you can't assume that you're not fertile if you have infrequent periods. There is a condition called polycystic ovarian syndrome, and that is associated with irregular periods. But there's lots of reasons for irregular periods and you really need further tests to work out whether this could be an indicator that you're fertile or not. So today I've given you some clues on how you work out whether you're fertile or not. 
but at the end of the day, you probably need some tests done to go to the next level. So make an appointment with either your family doctor or a fertility specialist, and we can do some extra tests to give us some more information. And then we can work out whether you're fertile or not. If you want to see more videos like these, click the subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Take care and good luck with your fertility journey.